Hello everyone and welcome to Voice Acting 101. Today's episode is about, well, our first ever subject on the matter. And that subject is, what even is voice acting? Following Merriam-Webster's definition, voice acting is <clears throat> the art of speaking words that are in a movie, television program, or alternative source of media by a person who is not seen. There are a lot of people that are actually surprised that voice acting is a job, and a very expanding one at that. Voice acting and voiceovers can be applied to media such as video games, automated messages, interactive voice recordings, automated dialogue replacement, or dubbing. See those animes right there? Yeah, yeah, that's ADR. Commercial announcements, DJ drops, podcasting, ASMR, audiobooks, amusement rides, puppet shows, audio dramas, offstage vocals for theater, vocal censoring. Gosh, there's just so much I can't hear. Voice acting was implemented as far back as the early 1900s, but became a staple in entertainment around the 1940s for the noir style of filmmaking. Making, where main characters would narrate their story as the movie progressed along. In radio, voiceovers were a vital part of the creation of the radio program. The voice actor might be used to remind listeners of the station name or his characters to enhance or develop show content. In the 1980s, UK broadcasters Steve Wright and Kenny Everett, as well as US broadcaster Howard Stern, brought on voice actors to create a virtual posse or studio crew that hyped up the programs. However, it is believed that this tactic was in play long before that time. Voice acting has also become a vital tool in documentaries to create an informative and emotional piece with hope for the listener to grasp the entire story being told. Television channels such as Discovery and History Channel make use of voiceovers a multitude of times, as well as NBC. The commercial industry also boomed with the rise of voice actors, courtesy of the campaign to sell products to the youth. Companies use mascots with jovial personalities to help gain traffic and potential buyers. You know, mascots like the Honey Nut Cheerios B, Chester Cheeto, Lucky, Red, Snap Crackle and Pop, Ernest Keebler, and many other mascots that are totally not convinced me to go out and, and, and buy food. Sorry, I got off track. You can also see this happen in video game mascots like Mario, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Link. Yeah, even the grunts gotta come from somewhere. Voiceovers have also shaped our first artificial assistants with programs like Siri, Google Voice, and Cortana by vocal artists taking on the huge endeavor of recording words, noises, vowels, and even gibberish to be spliced into sentences, responses, and navigation. On an interesting note, the voice actor for Siri, Susan Bennett, actually didn't originally do the recordings for Apple at all. They were created for a company called Scansoft back in 2005. They were looking for someone to be the voice for a database project involving speech construction. Scansoft inquired with GM Voices and selected Bennett, who happened to be present when the scheduled voiceover artist was marked absent. The assets of the voice recordings were believed to be purchased by Apple when they partnered with Scansoft to create Siri, and then implemented the recordings into her speech patterns. Sadly, Susan was never informed by Apple about the usage of her recordings, and had to find out through a friend via email in October in 2011, the month and the year of the launch of the iPhone 4S. I think it's important to know just how far back voice acting has gone, and how crucial a role it has played to shape our forms of entertainment. And sometimes the results of your work can put you in places you don't expect. It is more than just talking into a microphone. It is to get the listener to feel something, to understand, to investigate, heck, even to buy something. Or not buy, depending on how your ad goes. I mean, look at anti-political ads. That's a thing. Thank you all for listening in. Stop on by for the next episode coming soon, where we discuss vocal warm-ups to use and tips on keeping a good vocal health. This is PM Seymour, signing out.